Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trevor here. Uh, I'm back with a quick video today. Um, I'm actually going to be updating my S4 to Android Lollipop because Samsung here have actually finally started pushing out the Lollipop update for the GT i9 505, which is the Snapdragon version of the S4. Uh, that's the most common one, if I can say right. Yeah, that's the one most people have. Uh, let's see if I can show you my settings right now. Um, can you stay with me? There we go. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can sell, but yeah, there is Android 4.4.2, all right, i9 545, which is uh, the most popular version of the phone. So yeah, if you just go on your software updates and click on update, you should come up with all this information and just wait for it to do its search and find the update for you. And it should start updating. It should pop up with a message saying, uh, you do have a software update and start downloading it. As you can tell, it's downloading the software update now. So yeah, let's wait and see. So guys, after you finish downloading the software update, it will tell you that you have downloaded the update and you just click on it and it should come up with this page telling you what you're getting. Like I said, we are going to Android Lollipop. So it says here, Android Lollipop. Another thing I should mention as well is the fact that this update is pretty big so if you haven't got about two gigabytes worth of space on your phone you might not be able to install it so you will need to remove some memory on the phone as well so keep that in mind but yeah it tells you how much memory you need and all that kind of stuff it tells you what you're getting you know android lollipop and stuff so yeah the usual stuff okay so we're moving from keycat to android lollipop which is android 5 dot hour which is great news for those people who've been waiting to get this update uh for a long time a lot of people have been complaining about it but anyways here we go so after that you just press install <clears throat> and that's about it so basically it should install the software update on its own now uh, and it will restart itself okay so let's get into it then I'll show you what it looks like when it's updating so this is what it looks like when the phone actually starts installing the update on the phone uh, so after you've downloaded it if the phone will restart like normal then you should pop up on this page instead of opening your home page you open up this page showing you that it's installing the software update and all you have to do is just wait until it finishes installing the software update and we'll see what happens then so guys after the update has finished installing your phone should restart like any other restart anyway so yeah that's the phone just restarting itself and if I'm not confused, uh, the boot up screen is going to be different, as you can tell, than your traditional Samsung S4 boot up screen, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm, uh, at the end of it, I'm pretty sure it should do some sort of uh, app updating thing, which is kind of weird, basically, because uh, it changes from Delvic to Art. It's always the Art to Delvic runtime. Uh, permanently now uh, so it's gonna feel a lot faster your phone is gonna feel a lot faster so you're gonna see saying uh, um, updating apps and stuff so it's gonna start updating the application so the work per, uh, better with either Jovic or art I think it's art art runtime yeah art runtime that it's gonna be using from now on which is a lot faster so you will feel the difference when you're launching applications and all that kind of stuff so yeah you definitely gonna enjoy a lot of pop when, you, when you get it up and running properly so guys we're just getting all the applications optimized for the new runtime that android uses so as you can tell it's, uh, it's just finishing up now and yeah we should get the new home screen pop up any minute now as you can tell we're starting up the applications so all we can do now is wait and keep our fingers crossed that it installs it properly and yeah we're pretty much ready to go and remember this is the official update by samsung themselves okay this is samsung doing it themselves not me side loading it or anything like that it's just the official update which is pretty awesome i mean it took a long time to come around but hey you know it's better to have a, a great update uh you know with no bugs on it but anyways here we are guys that's it we're done that's the software updated and we're pretty much ready to go now okay so yeah let's unlock the phone as you can tell it looks different already on the unlock screen um it looks a lot more different the icons look a bit different here as you can tell it looks more like the note 4 the way uh the home page navigates so i have to get my note 4 right now and uh, unlock this one so yeah it looks more like the note 4 the way the home page navigates as you can tell it looks yeah it looks really really similar uh, and s5 as well so that's pretty cool so yeah 
that's us ready with Android Lollipop on the S4. So let's go in applications, just wait for it to kind of like ignore all that stuff out. so that our later as you can tell the new notifications that pop out from the top which is pretty pretty cool i like that because you know it's easier for your notifications and speaking of notification there's the new notification tray it looks different i like it it looks a lot lot different and oh gosh it looks beautiful and again if you use two fingers you should come up with that oh beautiful so yeah there you go guys that's me running android lollipop now so let's go in our, in our settings just take a look at uh give it a second the phone is still running a bit sluggish at the moment but uh hopefully uh after a couple of uses it should start working fine there's me running android 5.0.1 lollipop awesome so yeah this was just a quick video showing you how to update your phone and letting you know that the lollipop update for the s4 the gt i9 505 uh, if i was to zoom in a bit more as you can tell gt i9 505 software update you know that i9 505 update is now available so that's pretty pretty cool yep yeah, there we go there's the lollipop <laughs> everybody likes to have a bit of fun with this <laughs> so yeah that's lollipop ready guys uh if you've got any questions uh regarding the lollipop update please do let me know uh i will be posting another video with this phone uh talking about how the update is in general you know because uh usually with new updates there's always a lot of issues and stuff so I'm, I'm gonna be talking about all that information as well so yeah stay tuned guys i'm out y'all y'all have a great day peace